Good morning families and good morning kids. It is that time of the week again for us to, to go through together the New City cate Catechism that we've, we've started this year. So if you want, encourage everyone to go grab uh, your book and, and turn to question four. That's where we're going to be today. That's what we're going to talk about today. And, and so I want y'all to make sure y'all have that when, for when we get into the question. But before we do that, and before we, we start with the question, I, I thought y'all could start with a, a family conversation. And so after I, I can ask this question, uh, you can pause the video and have this conversation together, or you can have the, the kids uh, create a list uh, of things uh, off the question I'm about to ask. Um, but before we get into the uh, question four, uh, I want to begin with this conversation. I want the kids, kids, to, for you to think about. <clears throat> think about humans and think about the rest of creation. And, th and think about all of, uh, all of the differences that exist between humans and plants and animals and, and, and all of those things that exist in the world. And I want you to begin to either talk about them as a family or, or write them down, create a list uh, of some of the differences, the things that, that us as humans have that are different from the rest of creation. And so I'll give you all some time. Uh, you can pause the video to have that conversation or, or to write down uh, what those differences might be. So I'll give you that time now. All right, as, as y'all have done that, as y'all had that conversation and, and had that, that time to either discuss or write it down, uh, to just look at that list and think of, of the differences and how different we are. And that's going to lead us into question number four. So if you want to open up your book uh, to question four, we're going to go ahead and read it together. How and why did God create us? God created us male and female in his own image to know him, love him, live with him, and glorify him. And it is right that we who were created by God should live to his glory. Kids, I'll break it down for you again like I do every week. God created us male and female in his own image to glorify him. So y'all made that list and, and y'all talked about the differences that, that exist when uh, we think about God's creation and us as people inside of it. And it's because if we think about it, God created us in his own image. We are created in the image of God. And, and if you want as a family, I, I encourage you to open up uh, Genesis 1. Uh, and read together verses 26 through 31. And we, we see there clearly, I, I, I hope that you'll read that together as a family. And we see there very clearly that God created us in his image, different and apart and separate from the rest of the world. He talks about how, how we're given dominion, which means power and control over the animals and the plants. We're, we're here to take care of them. That, that, is, that is part of our difference and part of uh, being created in the image of God. So uh, I want you all to have this conversation either at the end of this video or, or right now. You can pause it. But to, to ask your kids and kids to think about this. What do you think it means to be made in the image of God? To sit and think about what it means to be made in the image of God. Because we talk about that a lot. And so to think through that. And parents help your kids to think through that. I've got, got four ways. Four or four things that, that, that it might mean to be made in the image of God. First it means that we are creative. God is creative. He He's used, if you look at Genesis 1, over the section that you're either going to read or have read already, it said that we were to use our creativity to rule over creation. So to be, to be made in the image of God means you are 
creative. Even if you don't think so, you are creative. To be made in the image of God means that we are be to communicative, that we are to communicate. God speaks to us. He is a God that communicates to us, so we need to be made people that communicate as well. Thirdly, to be made in the image of God is to be made relational. We talked about last week the Trinity, and so God himself is in relationship always. And so for us, we have to be people that are relational, that we seek people, that we love people, that we surround ourselves with people, that we live in community because God himself is relational. We are made for relationships. And lastly, but definitely not leastly, to be made in the image of God is to be loving. That we are to love people, care for people, show forgiveness and grace to people. God is a God of love and grace and mercy and forgiveness. So as we live, we are called to be all of those same things. And when we combine all four of those things, our lives should glorify God because we are reflecting who he is to the rest of the world. That when we, we live those four, those four things, are our, our foundations of your life, people will, will come to see who God really is and he will be glorified. So as we end this and, and another conversation point for, for parents and kids for you to have together, kids, I want you to answer this question and parents have this conversation with your kids. What do you think it means to glorify God? What does that look like? And I want to leave you with that, to, to have that conversation together. But I also want to leave you with another scripture Psalm 139, if you're struggling with this idea that we are created by God in his image, Psalm 139 says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are fearfully and wonderfully made by the creator of the universe. Do not forget that. So now families go and, 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 and have a conversation and discussion about all of this. It's so good. It's so awesome to think about that, that we are made to reflect him to the world. I hope this is a, a sweet time for you and your family this week to think about and to talk about. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful week. Uh, we hope to see you all soon. Have a great one. Bye.